Now in the next example, what we will going to try to do is uh, we will create a class which will allow us to call a Java built-in class, a, let's say math class, and utilize the static methods within the math class. So let's call this one using math class. Just always make sure that you never call any of your classes the same name as Java built-in classes. The reason is if you name your class exactly the same as a Java built-in class and when you try to call a Java built-in class since your class is named exactly the same uh, the Java will override that uh, and will instead try to look for the method within your class and since it wouldn't find that method within your class it's going to give you an error so always try to be little different from Java's built-in classes for example I'm using math class so I just sticked in the word using in class because I know that none of those two words along with the math are part of the Java's built-in classes so uh, now let's try to use the math class math class also belongs to java.lang package so we don't need to worry about importing any packages so let's try uh, to incorporate math class here and <clears throat> if I call upon math class dot it automatically gives me a bunch of options to choose from so let's say if I would like to round a value as you can see uh, I have a math round that returns a long and I have a math round that returns an integer if you pass a float it returns an integer if you pass a double it returns a long so let me pass a double value like 45.77 and let's put it into a long variable um, so we're going to say long rounded result let's call this one and system dot out dot print ln so I can now display the rounded result and here you can see that the rounded result is 46 it actually rounded 45.77 um, to the value of 46 similarly I can utilize other capabilities uh, such as if I were to calculate um, a formula like the area of a circle um, which I can say well double radius equals to 4.6 and I can say double area equals to and I, I need to use pi r square so instead of I defining pi I can take help from the built-in constant pi from the math class times instead of I writing radius times radius I can take help from the math's built-in function called pow uh, which can take first parameter as a value and the second parameter as an exponent so it basically reads it out as the radius square and so that's going to be pi times radius square and then I can simply write out my system dot out dot print ln statement and I can say well uh, area is and then I can display the value of area right over here so now let's try to run this one and it tells me that okay for that kind of radius which I used uh, 4.6 the area comes out to 66.47 now let's say if I would like to get a little bit more um, I would like to be a little bit more clear on my units I can use let's say square feet so as you can see in the output that change is also reflected I can also round my value right over here if I say math.round and so instead of displaying that lo lo long value of 66.476 so now you can notice it has rounded that 66.476 um, to a value of 66 so all of these functionalities could be used and um, if you would have noticed I called upon round by using a class name I called upon POW using a class name so all of these are considered to be my static methods from the math class and we have also utilized pi which is a constant using a math class so that also means that the pi was declared as a static constant in the math class 
The only difference between a static and a non-static constant in terms of declaration is you will use the word, just the word final, the data type, the constant name equals to a value if it's a non-static, but if it's a static constant, you will say final static. Uh, the data type, the constant name equals to a value. So just by sticking in the word static, you can now make it callable at a, by the class name versus an object name. Usually object properties are private, but these properties can be kept public so that they can be utilized outside of the class. One more thing I want to tell you about the math class is the math class is final. Uh, what does that mean? A final class is as that class in Java uh, on which you probably cannot uh, establish any hierarchical inheritance. So you cannot create a child class to the math class. That is the final class. If you also create your class with the word final, for example, if I stick in over here a word final between the word public and class, final is actually a keyword in Java as you have seen in the constant declarations. So I'm going to make my class final. That means this class is utilizable. If cl this class is callable. I just can create children classes to this class. Thank you for watching this video.